Hey YouTube, Matches 860. Smoking the Friday Savinelli with McBaron's Scottish Blend. which doesn't want to stay lit. Anyway, it's back to school time here in Connecticut. And the last week of August is usually when my mother would take me shopping for back to school. because we never started school till after Labor Day. We'd get uh, three outfits, a pair of shoes. Pencils and erasers and all that crap. And uh, every store had one of these special back-to-school packages that you could buy. A couple of pencils, a couple of erasers, ruler, scissors, and they always came with a protractor. For anyone that doesn't know what one is, put an image up there. Then you always got like a a uh, little case to put all this stuff in. It's like the size of a business envelope with a zipper on top. The stitching on the bottom of it always came loose by the second or third week of school, all of your crap fell out of it. Anyway, the night before school, you get all your stuff together. And I remember asking my mother what the protractor was for. She goes, ask your father. I don't think my father wanted to get into it, so he said, ah, they'll show you how to use it in school. Get up for the first day of school, all excited, first grade. Meet up with a bunch of big kids, third graders, carrying book bags. Very impressive. Say, hey, kid, are you ready for school? Pull my uh, little case out of my pocket and whip out my protractor. Yeah. I said, what is this thing for anyway? They go, you'll find out. get into the classroom on the first day, put my pencil in the uh, little place that's chiseled out on the desk, and get my eraser set up and my ruler protractor off to the side. Every desk looked the same. Everybody's all set to go. You find out after about a week. The protractor doesn't get any use, so it ends up in the back of your desk, eventually getting busted because they were pretty cheaply made. End of school comes along. The end of the year, and you got to clean your desk and locker out. Out goes the protractor. 
along with uneaten snacks and crumpled up homework assignments. Second grade comes along. You figure this must be the year. I'm gonna learn how to use this thing. Go through the same routine, get everything all lined up, ready to go. Protractor ends up in the back of the desk. By about fourth or fifth grade, this thing becomes a toy. You don't know why, but you got to have one every year, and it's included in all these back-to-school packages. I remember some kid found out if you put the protractor or a ruler on the edge of the desk and flipped it and then slid it along the desk, it made this funny noise. Brrr. The teacher would go out of the room for a minute and everybody would take their protractors out. And you'd have the symphony of 25 protractors. Funny as heck. Junior high school. You get a note during the summer. They tell you when you show up for school not to bring a lot of crap with you. Just a ballpoint pen to write with. That was pretty cool because could never use a ballpoint pen in elementary school. Said anything else you need, the school has it. We all figured they had protractors at school. I was never good in mathematics, so I barely got out of the remedial classes every year. When I finally took geometry, I think it was in ninth grade, the other dumb kids I was with, we only got as far as figuring out the areas of uh, squares and doing some basic stuff. Still didn't know what a protractor was for. Actually never saw one after sixth grade. Got into high school, junior year, and I had to take a uh, architectural drawing class. had to design your own house. At the end of the class, you took all your drawings and created actual blueprints. Lots of fun. Rechecking everything on the, right before making the blueprints, the teacher says to everybody, make sure any stairs that you have fall within the standard number of degrees, 34 or something like that. I sat there dumbfounded. How do I figure out what the angle of my stairs are? I knew what 90 degrees was and 45 degrees. So I'm like guessing with my drawing square teacher comes over he goes did you check your stairs I said how do I find the angle of the stairs he goes you got to use the protractor in your drawer I took it out I was laughing I said you mean to tell me that's what this is for why did I have one in first grade He didn't see the humor in that at all.
yesterday I was looking for one so that I could kind of use it as a prop while I was talking. Asked a bunch of people at work, nobody had one. Someone said, just run up to Staples and get one. I didn't say what it was for. Went online. They won like 20 bucks for them. Couldn't believe it. So, that's my back to school story. The weather's getting cooler. We had two weeks of uh, really oppressive heat and humidity and there was no way I was going to try to make a video out here. So That's where I've been. Thanks an awful lot for joining me. Have a great weekend.